So, have you guys heard about the new Netflix hit series, Squid Game? Of course you have! The advertisement for that show has been really aggressive. Even some of the popular Japanese TikTok person I follow have been doing sponsored posts for them. And no, I'm not using the term tiktok er tiktok -er 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 -er. The term TikToker just sounds really unnecessarily long and weird. But anyways, in case you've been living under a rock, let me explain what the show is about. And if you've been living under a rock, let me know what it's like. It's a South Korean nine-part show directed by Hwang Dong-hyuk in which people play a game of life or death for the chance of winning 45.6 billion won or 38.5 million dollars while the losers will die. The story featuring a game of life and death is nothing new, but it was a very popular manga genre in Japan around the 2010s and there were so many series about them. And get this right, Squid Game is now being accused of stealing from the manga series as the gods will. What? So a hit Netflix show is a thief? Well, let's have a look together, right? So as the gods will was also later turned into a film by the famed director... Oh man, I forgot his name. Takashi Miike? <laughs> there you go. And if you know anything about Takashi Miike, he is pretty f in the head and he is obsessed with gore, so it was the right kind of film for him to direct. But both As the God's Will and Squid Game start with a deadly game of red light, green light, the one where players are allowed to move when the seeker is facing away from the players. Squid Game also features other games that were also present in As the God's Will, such as a tug of war, hopping on glass tiles, and whatever this is. And some people have claimed that the Crossing Bridge game was lifted directly from a popular gambling manga series Kaiji. And yes, I did say gambling. This is gambling. <laughs> I mean, with characters like these, you're not supposed to take the series seriously. So with all these details, you think that Squid Game is probably an official remake of As the God's Will or something, right? Yeah. That never gets old. So this is what the director said, right? While filming this work, I've heard people say that it reminded them of As the God's Will. I feel like it's only because of the first game, but there is no connection to them. There are no similarities. I planned this in 2008 and started scripting in 2009. If you want to insist on priority to which one came first, then I scripted this story first. So 2008, in case you forgot what was happening back then, it was the year of Sarah Palin and Twilight. Um, it's a miracle that the director wasn't inspired by Twilight and the series Squid Game didn't feature any sparkling vampires. The director said that he was fascinated with the deadly game genre after reading a lot of manga comics and that he was inspired by Kaiji, Battle Royale, and Liar Game manga series, but not as the gods will. <laughs> so this guy is claiming that he read tons of manga, but he just didn't happen to read as the gods will. Not at all. Considering the amount of similar games that the two series have, it's either he is straight up lying, or it means that he and the author of As the Gods Will think very similarly, and that they are probably destined to be together. I think they should see this as a sign and get married to each other, like now. Okay, let me just clarify one thing, right? There is nothing wrong with being inspired by something. That's how ideas and culture evolve. The Wachowski sisters were open about being strongly influenced by Ghost in the Shell when they created the Matrix series, but the two are completely different. And people can do their own version of survival games, but copying the rules, premise, and execution of another work, and insisting on not giving the right credit is just a really poor form. 
is the director so bankrupt in terms of creativity that he can't even come up with his own games? And why can't he just give credit to the original source? And don't get me wrong, right? The show Squid Game can still be entertaining. The deadly game trope is a popular genre in Japan because you can introduce a wide variety of characters quickly, and there's always some kind of bore and excitement. So if a plot is becoming too boring, you could just chop off some character's head and introduce even newer, more characters. But the thing is, I think you should always have your own twist. For me personally, I find it fascinating that although in history of human civilization, we've reached a level in which many countries don't see things like famine or war, yet people are still drawn to seeing unnecessarily violent and gory things. Whether it's the execution scenes from the mystery adventure game Danganronpa, or the creative death scenes from the movie Final Destination, these media do really well. I think we instinctively know that the piece we enjoy is flimsy and can be taken away easily. So we like to watch these things and in a way prepare ourselves to know what to do when situations get tricky or dicey. Anyway, I think the lesson here is that if you want to create your own hit series, you can always steal ideas from other countries and claim that you came up with it by yourself. So this is why you should always be interested in learning about other culture. So thanks for watching until the end. Do you like any of these series? Please let me know in the comments section. If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a video. And uh, man, it's been a while since I did a video, but yeah. Oh. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. As for Danganronpa, I can really relate to this scene when I'm fighting against a deadline at work.